The clear, powerful new interface of Victor Client 5.0 and above provides enhanced functionality with higher operability, deeper configurability, more intuitive control, and an expanded workspace for surveillance and other important activities. This video will feature a high-level comparison of the new interface and the pre-5.0 legacy interface, a fast guide to frequent tasks in 5.0 and above, and a quick look at some other good-to-know tips to ensure ease of first use for those already familiar with the interface of previous versions and for first-time users. For a more in-depth guide to the new interface, see the video entitled Victor Client Interface 5.0 and above here on Tyco Learn. To demonstrate the legacy interface, Victor Client version 491 will be used and referred to. Aside from the default dark theme, one of the first things that the legacy user will notice in 5.0 is that the ribbon and the status bar from 491 have been removed. Their full functionality has been retained however and in many cases upgraded. In the new interface, all primary controls are condensed into two distinct toolbars. The quick action bar at the top of the window and the navigation bar on the left. Let's close the familiar default 2x2 surveillance window and look at how the interface elements at 491 are aligned across these two key toolbars. With the exception of the silence button, all of the items in the 491 home ribbon are now spread between the new tab hub and the layout list, which are grouped together near the top of the new navigation bar. Note that clicking the triplex icon at the top of the navigation bar toggles the expansion and contraction of the bar. Surveillance, Search, Clips Player, Bookmarks, Incident Management, Web, all of the system items except for Silence and Reports are now accessed in the new tab hub. The layouts functions from the home ribbon of 491 are now grouped conveniently in the layout list below the new tab hub. Here we can see Switch Layout, Switch on Primary, Refresh Layout and Refresh on Primary as well as buttons for saving new layouts. As for the silence button, it's now readily available at all times from the quick action bar. With the exceptions of event schedule setup and layout, all of the build ribbon items are available in the create, edit and show all hub triplet, which is located in the middle of the 5.0 navigation bar. In the Create New Hub, denoted by the plus icon, any of the items in the 491 Build Ribbon which have a new option are available for creation, for example, salvos, events and schedules. In the Show All Hub, denoted by the I icon on the navigation bar, the dynamic view of any 491 items from any ribbon with a Show All option, such as salvos, schedules or exception reports, can be viewed. The items on the 491 build ribbon which are not in these locations are event schedule setup, the associated event action pairing and the edit option for Victor application servers which are all found in the configuration hub which is accessed via the cog icon at the bottom of the navigation bar and the save layout functions which are available in the 5.0 layout list as seen previously. As with the build ribbon, any items which can be created from a new option on the setup ribbon are available in the 5.0 create new hub, for example recorders, cameras, protocols and generic edge devices. In addition, any items in the setup tab with the show all function are available from the show all hub in the new interface, for example keyboards and personnel. Device discovery, licensing, system values and external applications are available from the configuration hub. Note that system values in 491 has been renamed settings in 5.0 and above. The left pane items in 491, namely device list, sites, call-ups and clips are all grouped together in the same order in the upper left of the new navigation bar. These are fundamentally the same as in 491 but there is now a show all option in the right click context menu list. The 491 status bar items have now all migrated to the 5.0 quick action bar. Number of active alerts, bandwidth settings, virtual matrix status and system status are all in the top left of the quick action bar, whereas server name, 
Client Messages and Active Operators are on the right hand side. Note that virtual matrices can also be activated or deactivated from here. The system date and time are given in the middle of the quick action bar. If the date and time have been turned off via settings, they can be displayed by hovering the mouse cursor anywhere over the middle of the quick action bar. The other 491 interface items, including the Victor tab drop down menu, operator buttons, and help button, are neatly arranged in the top rightmost two icons of the quick action bar. So that's the interface evolution. Now for a fast guide to frequent tasks in 5.0. For the surveillance window tab, click New Tab, Surveillance. For the search wizard, click New Tab, Execute Search Wizard. To change, activate or deactivate a virtual matrix, click the virtual matrix icon in the quick action bar. To change the layout, or for other layout options, click on the Layout Options tab on the navigation bar. To quickly access the Event Viewer, click the Number of Active Alerts icon on the Quick Action bar. A quick way to generate a report is to click New Tab, Report. To switch operator or to log out, Click on the operator icon in the quick action bar and select the relevant option. The navigation bar icons will either display a pane or a hub. For layouts, devices, sites, call-ups and clips, a pane is displayed to the left of the main window. On the other hand, new tab, create, Edit, Show All, and Configuration each have their own hub. Note that by default, when a pane opens, it is displayed when the mouse cursor is in it. Moving the mouse cursor outside of the pane causes it to close automatically. For example, let's open a layout and move the cursor outside of the pane. We can see the pane beginning to close automatically. If we hover back to the pane, it reopens, until the cursor leaves it again. This auto-closing feature gives more screen space for the surveillance layout chosen and reduces the number of user clicks. There is also an option to pin the pane so that it remains open even when the mouse cursor is outside of it. Note that the auto-close time can also be changed or turned on or off by going to Configuration Hub, Window Style. Hubs can be closed by clicking on the source icon or by clicking the arrow at the top left of the hub. Likewise for list panes when auto close is not activated. Each hub has a convenient instant filter tool. For example here if we start typing health, the filter is instantly applied and the health dashboard remains as the sole item for selection. There is also a list of recent items in the top left of the hub as shown. Finally, for an even larger workspace area, the quick action bar can be hidden with the hide quick action bar button, which is near the top right of the window. To unhide, click the button again. That's the essential guide to 5.0 for legacy interface users. Thanks for joining us and be sure to check out the videos for the other great features available in 5.0 and above here on Tyco Learn.